What's up guys, my name is Will Bingham and I'm going to show you how to get to the top of the dealership pecking order. Now, the pecking order is the list of names they write up on the board at the end of the month after everybody's got their numbers. Who's got the most cars and they go down and down and down and down and down. So how to be number one in the dealership, how to get to the top of the pecking order. Now, there's also another pecking order and that is with the battle for ups. And I wanna start there and really focus on ups for this video. Now, an up is a potential customer that comes on to the lot at the dealership. Now, here's what you are going to do if you want to make a lot of money selling cars. Now, you're already going to be there for, you know, a lot of time anyway if you're selling cars, but what you want to do is you want to get all the ups, obviously, because the more ups you take, the more money you're going to make. You don't make any money sitting in the back hanging out around the water cooler. So I urge you to get aggressive. So who am I to tell you this? I've sold 30 plus cars so many times. It's ridiculous. The last dealership I walked into sold 31 and a half cars. That was in the used department. Those were all used. And this is what I did. I just got all the ups. I didn't get any leads from anyone when you're new to a place. They're not really gonna give you leads, especially if you haven't sold a lot of cars before. So how to get the ups. In every dealership, it's very, very strategic. So you want to stand where they're coming in, obviously. So, but you don't have to be like in their face. You just have to be closer than everyone else. So for example, I worked at a Nissan dealership, a lot of them are shaped the same. So they got like the receptionist right by the desk um, or right by the front door. There's a receptionist right there. And what I would do at that store, because nobody was really standing outside and if they were, it was for maybe like 20 minutes and they go back inside and they were all sitting at their desks and stuff like that. I would stand right by the receptionist at that store and you know, you flirt with the receptionist if you're single, if you want to do whatever you want. So I would also get the incoming phone leads, okay, so a phone call will come in. She'd be like, here, here's a lead. You know, she wouldn't give me all of them because she didn't want to get in trouble, but I'd get one here, one there, one, you know, all over the place. So I would get the phone leads right there, and then I was right by the front door. So if somebody pulls in, I would walk right outside, greet them, you know, do your meet and greet, and then you got your customer, okay? So I would, that was my, where I wanted to stand. Now, I wouldn't always stand there. If someone was standing outside, at that point, I would go outside. Okay, you have to, there's, there's a pecking order for the up systems and you want to be the first one. Now, I know some stores now have uh, an up system and I really think it's doing the customers a disservice having an up system and that's why, um, you know, at least with the store I worked at because people wouldn't want to help them or waste their turn because they're like, oh, this guy's just looking, I don't want to help him, he's not my up. Uh, he'll, he's fine. He's just looking around and then nobody would actually help them because they're like they can't take them because then they go out of turn in the up system and people will get mad and that store sucked. They did like no business at all. So most of the time it's going to be a free for all. All right. Now people are going to hate you, but if you don't have haters, you're not really doing anything. Okay. So be aggressive. That's the first tip. So you want to stand closer than everybody else where the cars are coming in. So some of the cars come in on this side of the dealership. Some of the cars come in on this side of the dealership. You want to be on one of those sides for sure. That'd be the closest one. Okay. You don't want to talk to a lot of salespeople. Okay. Maybe you can talk to like one just to pass the time and stuff like that. I mean, what you want to do is watch this channel. I'm going to be giving you a ton of badass shit for free. People would beg me to be like, Will, how do you sell so many cars? Will, how do you do this? Please tell me, please tell me. And I would never tell them. I would never tell them anything because I was just killing it at the store and just, you know, if I gave them my tricks, then it would just create competition for myself. But I own my own dealerships now and now I'm just trying to give back to the people getting started. This wasn't available for me when I first started and I know that if you apply what I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be a game changer for you. So you want to find the most strategic spots in the dealership. Now people are going to challenge you for the ups. You know, there might only be like one, two, three people that are really trying to get it. Some stores, if you go into them, like nobody, everybody's just waiting inside, waiting for the customers to come to them. And that's a great store to work at because you can get all of the ups. Some stores, everybody's waiting outside. It's like crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> so, but 
in that case, like for example, um, well, let me, let me flash back. So when you see a customer come on the lot and let's say there's a salesperson right beside you, right next to you, right here. Now, what you want to do, as soon as you see them pull in, you want to go take a huge first step, quick, fast, boom, go take a huge first step and take really big steps and walk with a purpose, a passion and at a million dollar pace and just go as fast as you can directly towards that customer. And when you take your first step or two, the other person will look to you nine, 99 times out of a hundred and they'll be like, okay, he got him. He got him. Okay. And sometimes they'll take like, you don't want to take like a half step forward. Like, okay, should I get him? Should I not get him? No, you get them. All right. You know, stay outside, get uh, some headphones, put it in one ear and listen to me while you're standing out here, because I want you to get the courage and just get this under your skin. I mean, doing this and getting all the ups, you're going to just explode your income just by having all the customers. Okay. People are coming into your dealership to buy cars guaranteed. Your dealership has sold a ton of cars every month. Okay. Maybe it's not a ton, but they sell plenty of them. They're still in business. That money can easily be yours. Okay. It can easily be yours. It's going to go to someone. It might as well go to you. Why not? Right? So, but people will back down. Okay. So you want to, as soon as they pull in, if you're standing like right outside the dealership with them, take a direct step towards the customer as soon as they pull in and just be like, I got this one. And then just take a huge first step. I mean, there's a bunch of other tricks too. Like I remember when people were standing out there with me and somebody pulled up and I'm like, Oh, these are my folks. They'll be like, Oh, okay. Okay, cool. And then I just be like, Hey, you doing folks? My name's Will. And you are, <laughs> you know, it's just a straight up, like, you don't even know who they are, but they're like, Oh, okay. He's they're, they're his folks. They're going to let you have them. All right. This is my appointment. There's a lot of games that are played in the system. Now I'm not saying you have to do all that. Honestly, you can just stand in front of them and just go get them, you know, but that's another way to get them. I mean, do whatever you got to do to get the ups. That is my advice because I know if you do that, you will have plenty of money. I mean, honestly, you could just go hard for a couple months and you'll have plenty of money in the bank. You'll be chilling and you want to take the ups. You want to be aggressive. If you want to make a lot of money, you also want to be there later in the day too. A lot of people come right after work. That's a good up. People are wanting to go home and get out of there early, which is fine because that's when like really good deals come in. But let's say someone's challenging you. Like I had this really, uh, one of the most aggressive people, this guy like went to prison or something. I don't know his whole backstory, but he was like, I'm going to get all the ups. And he was like, kind of like big and strong and stuff like that. Like I'm not a little guy or anything, but he's just like all about getting them. Okay. So in that case, we kept going further and further out to try to get the ups. I mean, it was really just me and him at this point and everybody else was like, those guys are crazy, man. We're just going to wait to get ours. You know, I liked it. a lot of people. I remember this one guy told me at the dealership, he's like, I like to let, you know, the first people get their ups and then I like to go in and get them. And that's what you want everyone else to think that works there. Okay. But we would go so far and like into the street, like we were literally like as soon as the customer pulled in, we would walk in front of the freaking car and just say, stop. And then just pull up and like, you know, just stop them. Like they're going into like a Navy base or something like that. And they just wrote on the road and I'm like, Hey, how's it going? What are we looking for? Sales service. And they're like, Oh, sales. I'm like, okay, pull right over here. So that was like the, the furthest I'd have to go to, to get one, but that's an extreme, you know, most stores, the people just really aren't going to be that aggressive. Okay. People are going to get hot. They're like, Oh, it's hot outside. I'm sweating. I want to go back inside. You know, if you could find a spot that's shaded, I remember I had this one spot in a tree. I, one store I worked at had a golf cart. I would just cruise around on the freaking golf cart. People would pull in. I'd just like cruise up in the golf cart and just park right there and be like, hop on guys. And then just take off, get the ups like that. Um, there's a lot of places to get the ups. I wasn't a big service guy. Now, if somebody from service came in and asked me a question and then boom, it was game on from there. You know, if they're kind of looking around, you, you want to go up and just say what's up to them because you never know. Some people are just looking around, they're in service, they're not. Uh, you want to just go up and, and talk to everyone, okay? And then every lead that comes in to the lot that, um, let's say they're asking for someone else, you want to take that lead and go find that other person. And then if you can't find them, then talk to the manager and then they'll give you half the deal or maybe that person's busy. So you want to hold on to that person that up that comes in and 
then you can get a half of deal. So you want to greet everyone. I mean, you want to work every single opportunity, guys. So remember, my video's the clock is counting down. I only got a couple more minutes, or I only got like one minute left on this video. So uh, go ahead and subscribe for more information. I'm going to really reveal all the secrets and just peel back the curtain and just give it all to you for free. So go ahead and subscribe if you want some information to help you make more money. It's going to be very, very impactful and empowering to you. But be aggressive, guys. Stand by the door. Be alert. Look around. Yes, you can get on the phones and do all that. But if you're brand new and you don't have a lot of leads coming to you, you want to be aggressive. Those people are the best leads because they are there to look for a car they came down to the lot to buy so be aggressive find the sweet spot at the dealership be in front of everyone else there should be no one in front of you and if there is you got one person beside you you want to really shut them down quick and just you know maybe give them a half deal or something like let me get this i got this one do whatever you got to do to get the ups guys but be aggressive take a huge first step walk have your power walk ready just boom and then when people see that, they're like, oh, this guy's not playing around. I'm just going to let him get his ups and everyone else will back down. Watch and do this. And if you're aggressive with it, people will respect you and respect that you will get the up. So go ahead and subscribe, guys. This is Will Bingham, and I'll see you on the next video.